morning all and welcome along yet again another test ride we're out on this this time this is the Lexmoto Iska in blue and this one is going out to Rory so Rory's been messaging me for quite a while and he said to me he said uh, looking at getting uh, an Iska have you got a blue one of course we've got a blue one we've got one of every color and uh, a couple of emails backwards and forwards he's put his deposit on it he's placed the uh, the balance and it's out for me to test ride so as always Rory said are you going to do a video yep always do a video so we're out on Rory's bike giving it a run and I thought as soon as it's such a lovely day today it was bakingly hot yesterday I am going to go out and have a, a different type of run so we're going to go down to the Red Bond Bridge, as I call it, where well, I like to uh, make a bit of noise, by the canal, and we are going to shoot a little video, walk around it. Let's just see what the brakes are like, and pulling in on the front, and big handful. Oh, there we go. So just click down through the box. Clutch is working nicely. Mirrors are set up really well on this. I've got excellent view of the road behind me. So, mm, the smell of new burning paint when you get a bike first started up and we have zero miles on it. It's come straight out of the showroom, prepped it yesterday. PDI was all good, bolt check was all done, tightened up a few bolts. Uh, as you would, they don't tighten them all the way up at the factory. Talked them all up, everything's all good, put the mirrors on. Five litres of fuel in the tank gives me two bars. So just enough for you all for ride testing, but you've got down the front, rev counter, and then off to the side, speedo, in miles an hour, the time, your gear position, down the bottom your odor meter, and then right in the middle is your fuel tank. Basic controls on it again, horn indicators, lights, at the back it's not a pass light back here, it's a hazard light switch, which is different, and the riding position pegs on this are a lot further back than the ZSB so your legs are slightly behind you tucked in tucks your knees in nicely look at that over the bumps suspension is lovely I'd say mid firm on these and of course five speed box keep going for that six gear every time <laughs> five speed box on the Iska and the Assault and the engines on these are absolutely bomb proof unless you're an absolute numpty and riding it like a loon and you should be riding it as I say every test ride 45 mile an hour for the first 500 miles or three months but very very easy to use controls on one of these lovely soft seat great riding position and we're going to tuck under the bridge in a minute and have a walk around the bike and show you the bike so you get an idea of what the Iska looks like if you haven't seen one before and see if it is the bike that you are going to like steps down through the gearbox very very well we are going in here in the shade for a minute and it doesn't help when you've got an iridium visor so we'll pop the visor up we're going to pull in at the end here there we go and just pop it into neutral there we go now if you put the side stand down on this it will kill the engine so we'll step off and we're going to drop the main stand on there we go very easy to put it on the main stand and let's have a look at the bike there we go so this is the Lexmoto Iska now difference from this to the Assault the Assault's got the motocross front end and the indicators in the end of these now when these first come out I wasn't overtly nice about the bike I did say god it looks ugly with those uh, pointy bits but from the front it does look very very good bulbed h4 headlight leds off to the side you've got an led light to the top there your driving light and then looking around the bike there's all your bits and pieces there so absolutely lovely kickstart as well very easy to get in at maintain of the bike and then down the side your pillion pegs and a side stand main stand not much to the bike 
but it's a great little bit of kit right let's get out and have a ride low speed stability on this is great so we are off just working through the box over all the bumps down the other bump and here we go hey and best thing I can get through there filter mate it's called filtering they'll end some people just can't judge distance could have got a double decker bus through there some people don't realize the idea of motorcycles can filter if you can get through the gap go for it are you going to do it in London traffic you numpty watching that car coming in from the left so we're in the little villages and it looked lovely in the summer with all the trees and the old-fashioned churches Nice big bump coming up, let's see what suspension's like on that. There we go, we're up, we're down. Very easy to see all your telltales down there. They all pop up in the windows. I'm doing 30. Oh, 31 then. I'm allowed 10%. Right, let's get out on the dual carriageway and have a little bit of a, a blat around at 45 mile an hour. Right, let's see what the uh, low speed stability is like. There we go. Way in first gear we go. Through the box as quick as we can. Two, three. Very easy, just click with the toes. Gearbox on this is lovely and smooth. And let's have a look at Milton Keynes. <clears throat> now, the best thing about Lex Motos is the shocker. In uh, the last week or so, Lex Moto have dropped the prices of all their bikes. Believe it or not, the ZSB used to be 2249. It's now 2069. It's gone down massively. ZSB is going to be one of the cheapest bikes around for absolutely ages. The Isca has gone down in price. The Assault has gone down in price. Most of the bikes have all gone down in price. Even the LXR SE Carbon has had a massive drop in price. They have decided, all right, let's have a battle. Let's sell bikes. Let's push new bikes out. And where can you get a bike for under two grand for the cheapest one they do, the ZSB? You're not going to get it. So really, really good pricing at the moment on the Lexmodo bikes and in scooters as well. Obviously Titan is still the same price. The SRT, the new SRT has come down in price. And also things like the Pegasus, the Aura have all come down, even the Diablos, massively down on price. So now is the time to buy bikes. If you want to get yourself a bike, jump on. Now obviously on the 50cc market, this is where Lexmoto needs to up their game because they do the Echo, the Echo Plus, they do the Diablo 50 and loads of others but there are no geared 50ccs from Lexmoto, they're not doing any. Now obviously this is where WK come in because they've got the Colt, they have the 50cc Scrambler and I absolutely love the Colt. I was giggling like a school kid when I took that Colt out. So the Colt is up for uh, very good money at the moment. And also the Scrambler is up for very good money. So if you're into a 50cc, you don't want to twist and go scoot. Have a look at the WK range. Well, there are some very, very good bikes out for the money. Three miles on the bike. 
rocking along like a good one. 40 mile an hour and you can smell that pollen in the air. Right, we're going into this lane because I'm going straight over. The left lane is the Bletchley lane. Dropping down, let's go. Let's see how many numpties screw it up on this roundabout. behind my line for the minute. 10 o'clock in the morning, nearly coffee break. It's rocked forward a little bit. Right. As we wait for everybody to figure out who's going on the roundabout. Let's see where this blue one goes. Keep my eye on him. Oh, big patch of diesel there. That's not nice. Right, working through the box, third, fourth, fifth, there were a few manhole covers, another one coming up somewhere around there, there we go, you get to know the road and where all the bumps are after a while, a nice steady 41, bike is behaving lovely, and then we can get back, give Rory a corner say, bike is all good, happy days, you are going to have to go and watch the video. Now for riding around town, great little 30 mile an hour bike this one. For pottering around, obviously it does a little bit faster on the road. And one of our motor vloggers has one of these. Oh, she did have one of these before she bought her XJ6. Now, Ali had one of these, and believe it or not, she used to run it in religiously, service it religiously, clean it all the time. And I think she paid around about, back then, it was about 2,100 for one of these. We actually had her on the uh, Super Sausage Run. And... We're sitting on the A5 doing 70, she went past us doing 75. I've never known an Isca to do 75 mile an hour. Because she'd religiously run it in, looked after it, and opened it up gradually. And the thing wasn't even bouncing its valves, it was just sitting comfortably 75 mile an hour. So it can prove that a 125 will do that type of speed. Big bump, there we go, just to try the suspension out. We'll go around this one. Now, when she sold it, and that's, we're talking sort of two, three years later, she actually sold it for around about £1,500, so she didn't lose much money. And it just proves the point, if you maintain your bike, look after it, keep it clean, and service religiously, you will get a good resale price. And there was no rust on that bike due to big coats of ACF50. Where are you going? Get back in that junction, thank you very much. So it's all down to how you maintain the bike, how you run it in. If you look after it, it will look after you. So it just proves the point with uh, Ali's Isca. And hers was a blue one as well. Down the side of the speed bump, there we are. We'll go over the next one just to test the suspension again. Slowing down for the speed bump, and we're going to go up and over. There we go. Suspension sets up absolutely lovely. That's the job. Right, back to the garage. We do a go. Cup of coffee time, I believe. And then get ready for my next five bike MOTs that I've got in, and prep the next ZS Beefarella. So currently we've got 10 bikes running through the system, which is a lot of ride tests, a lot more videos, a lot more time me sat at home doing uploads and ride tests for customers. 
but as we say every bike has a PDI prep a ride test, a QC, a second ride test, register and a code of ACF50 we really go to town on these bikes and that is how all dealers should be and obviously people go yeah but no one does it as fussy as you are B every dealer should be fussy treat every single bike coming through as if it is your own and give it some love and attention if you're not going to do the job 100% you're in the wrong business guys too many dealers out there that are mm, yeah let's just oh sold another bike right let's just uh, whack it around the block, block quick do a quick bolt check take the money fill it with fuel there you go mate there's your bike on your way week later you've got a shed load of issues because it's not been checked over and ridden for the amount of mileage that we would like and you're not going to find anything in the first mile with a bike if you go back and remember the uh, Lexmoto, watching him, all right, Lexmoto Aura that we've got, or that we had, one of the very first Auras that we had out, and uh, took it for the first test ride, brilliant, took it for the second test ride, and the engine seized. And it wasn't the fact that I was doing massive speed, I was doing 30 mile an hour. And... Uh, when we actually stripped the engine down, whoever had prepped it at the factory had dropped a bolt down in the back of the engine and it had rattled to the top, got stuck in the cams and shattered the cam, wrote the engine off. Now obviously, re um, warranty claim, we want a brand new engine. And the customers uh, came in for that service on that bike, I think about two weeks ago. How's the bike running? It's great, I've done uh, nearly 6,000 kilometres on it. So Lexmoto warranty is very good when you need it. I'm going to go one more time, round the block, and then we'll head back down there to the garage. And I'm waiting all the roadworks that these lot are doing. Yeah, what a mess they are making. Because that building has now been sold, the B&M building. And they're putting four retail units in there. I pity the people going in the retail units because our garage is right at the back. All they're going to do is me starting bikes all day. Oh well, what a shame. <laughs> Milton Keynes literally seems to be masses of roadworks everywhere. I don't And as usual, typical workmen stood around on their mobile phones. That was yellow. <laughs> right, the ISCA's done. Let's get her back to the garage. I now have the required amount. There we go. We normally do five on the first ride test. I've done six. By the time I get back to the garage, it's going to be seven miles. All set for the final ride test. Once I've done another bolt check on this, a final quality control check, make sure it's all good with the coat of ACF on it. your indicator on are they? Naughty naughty. Too busy waffling. That is the only thing in the sunlight. You can't see those damn telltales. Come on little scooter, let's go. 34 mile an hour. That's going to be a Lex Moto Echo then. Chucking that into the corner. <laughs> Doing well. Oh, it's a little uh, 50cc fly, looks like a Peugeot fly or a little Vitti. Through the speed camera last time. And everybody's got their summer dresses on. Outrageous. Outrageous legs everywhere last thing you want is to see my legs oh god people will be throwing up left right and centre but everyone's out in their little shorts and summer dresses while I'm in a big padded jacket sweating like the uh, proverbial some people even have their sun hats there we go <laughs> right 
it, enough of this, enough of this. Let's get back to the garage. I'm having too much fun this morning. So, ride test done, rear resistor. Happy days, all done. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share. Let me know what you think of filtering for a car when the car's coming the other way. Bell end. But, loads of room. If it's car, oncoming car, I've still got room to filter past the cars on the left. It's called making a gap, mate. Oh, that does wind me up. Normally on the GTR, it'd be foot out, take the mirror. But we don't do that when we're out on test rides. So, till next time, guys, from RB, on the Isca, be well, ride safe, and as always, it's a big goodbye from me.